Hey everyone, just out here on the water, practicing some basic rigging. I'm gonna show you what I think everyone should know. So the first thing that everyone should have on the river for basic safety is your throw bag. I'm gonna show you how you can use that. So here we have our simulated pin boat. Very first thing I would try to employ is our hooking up our throw bag to the boat and giving it a straight pull. With our throw bag, we would literally just open it up. Take the loop, attach the carabiner to the loop, attach our carabiner to our grab loop, and this would literally be a straight pull. So we're going to pretend this doesn't work, and the next step that I would employ would be to build a three to one or a Z drag system. I'll show you how that works. What we'll need to build our Z drag system is an anchor. In this case, I'm gonna use a tree. So to build this anchor, I'm gonna use an eight foot nylon sling. Simply gonna wrap it around the tree twice. I'm gonna create a little double wrap basket hitch. Take my carabiner, insert it through my two loops. I'm then going to take my haul line coming from my boat or my throw bag, clip that through the anchor that I built at the tree, lock that carabiner off. Then I'm going to take the working end from my boat attached up to my anchor and then the working end is going to come back to a prusik, which is a simply a uh, continuous loop. And I'll do a three wrap prusik. So that will be what we call a tractor. That they can you can what we can slide and once we grab that loop pull tension it will bind on the rope so we'll to our prusik we'll attach another carabiner and then that working end we'll attach that through that carabiner lock it off so this is where our z drag name kind of comes from because it boat anchor back to our prusik or tractor so then all we simply do pull on this and it'll give us our three to one mechanical advantage now we're not actually getting three to one obviously because we're losing friction to our carabiner at both ends, but it will definitely give you increased mechanical advantage. So we're gonna pull that, which will move our boat until we can't pull it no more. And then we can slide our prusik up and make some more progress. So one variation that might be important if we're worried about capturing the progress that we make when pulling our throw bag would be you can simply thread it through your carabiner and pull but obviously as pressure goes you're going to lose any progress. So the simplest way around that would be to tie a munter. So we can take our munter, put that on our carabiner, lock it down, and as we get progress through that, 
we can lock it off. So we get to where our progress, pinch it, tie an overhand, and that will lock in any progress for us. So again, coming from our boat to our anchor, munter, working end goes to our prusik, which has a carabiner, which we'll pull on. As you can see, rigging is not easy. If you're expecting to learn it and then come back out in five years and use it, you're probably wrong. At bare minimum, I would recommend getting out once at the start of a season and setting up a little anchor and a simple three to one or Z drag system. Um, this is gonna give you a lot of mechanical advantage and it's something that stays quite simple.